Hi, hello, uh, welcome once again on my scientific blog discoversocialsciences.com. Uh, in this update, I am returning to my like my uh, uh, my main thread of research during those last weeks, and probably it will be my main thread of research until I hatch a book about it, uh, namely the research about uh, the role of cities in our civilization, the role of cities for our technological change, and about the possible impact of the pandemic on the way we live in cities and we organize cities. For those of you who might not have followed uh, that thread of my writing and blogging, uh, I am basing my entire research on an, an elementary observation which I made in the beginning uh, of those lockdowns, in the beginning of March uh, 2020. Namely that uh, a city in lockdown looks like not really a city anymore. It uh, looks as if the as if all uh, of what we could call social life has uh, suddenly disappeared, has suddenly like gone from the social urban structure. And uh, I guess that the pandemic will have an impact on the way we live in cities. I am trying to trace like parallels to history. Uh, my like recent recollection is that uh, we live in cities, we have been living in cities for centuries and until relatively recently, I mean recently in, in historical perspective, uh, we have been living in the presence of epidemic diseases. And still we live in cities, so pro probably there is a way of figuring out the epidemic risk uh, so as to, to maintain those urban structures. Because once again, for those of you who haven't been following uh, that thread of, of, of research, cities are essentially the only, uh, the only social contrivance that we humans have invented uh, in order to create rapidly new social roles for a growing population. Anyway, in this update, I am, I am trying to connect like two dots. I am trying to connect the so-called epidemic models uh, with my own model of social roles and changes in social roles in the presence of an external disturbance factor, uh, like a, a pandemic, for example. Uh, so I take a recent paper. It is not yet a published R R article. It is a, a, what we call a preprint of article uh in the written uh, in, in the written version of this update you can find the link to that preprint i take that preprint which uh, studies uh, the development of the covid-19 epidemic outbreak in northern italy and uh, from there i can uh, i have like two big takeaways uh, that the famous coefficient of reproduction, or R0, which has recently become famous in the mainstream media, that R0 is importantly shaped uh, by the intensity of social interactions. And uh, some social interactions are more conducive to the spread of epidemic than others. And the second takeaway is like um, more numerical. According to that study of the Italian case, uh, lockdowns reduced essentially social mobility inside regions by about 15%. And it was correlated or it coincided with a lowering of the transmission co coefficient by 49%. And, uh, but it wouldn't go lower. So, uh, uh, a further lockdown wouldn't like or a deeper lockdown wouldn't bring any additional results apparently so that's the introduction and be before i go into those screens with the slides uh, taken from the written version of this update once again a reminder for those of you who are new to my blog if you go to the description box below the video 
in the description box you will find a link discoversocialsciences.com you click on that link and it takes you uh, to the website of my blog under the same title discover social sciences on the website of, the, of my blog you will find a written update uh, with the numerical data with references with data sets and this update will have the same title as the title of this video this is how it is coupled so I go like into the fancy part I love this part and it is the part when I show a slide a, a, a visual with me speaking from like uh, from a corner or from the middle here I, I am speaking from the bottom uh, of that image the idea is that uh, uh, in the times of an epidemic outbreak, in the times of pandemic, uh, our social roles take like another important di dimension. We start to, uh, to perceive more or less consciously the epidemic risk attached to the social roles we endorse in society. And so mathematically, we can say that the set of social roles is coupled with a set of social interactions and those social interactions can be like ranked over a scale on one end of the scale on on, on this end okay it is uh, we have social interactions with the low risk of in infection so it, these are interactions uh, which are first of all stable and predictable uh, people wise so these are interactions with uh, people whom we know more or, or less and we can say or we can empirically assume that those people are knowingly healthy and on the other extremity yes on on on, on this extremity of the of the spectrum we have social interactions with high risk of infection these are mostly interactions with uh, people uh, about whom we don't know how have they been exposed to infection and what kind of exposure they can uh, convey in interaction with us uh, here is something like a mind map which i placed in the written version of my update it is a graph uh, I am an economist, uh, I like expressing my thoughts in graphs, so here I take that scale that you, could, uh, that you could have seen on the previous slide, so I take that scale of risk of infection in social interactions and I placed that scale on the horizontal axis of the manifold and on the vertical axis I take another variable or another metric which uh, you could have uh, seen in my previous updates it is the probability of occurrence in a given social role huh? so each social role in that manifold is defined by its probability of occurrence its prevalence so uh, the prevalence of a social role can be defined as the probability that a random individual from the population endorses that specific social role. And the second dimension of that manifold is pre precisely the risk of infection attached to social interactions covered by that social role. Uh, so I imagine that for any given moment, uh, we have something like an indifference curve, the tolerable frontier of epidemic risk. So it is somewhere here. Uh, it is like that uh, indifference curve of, or like an indifference patch, which goes sort of uh, through the through the manifold in the form of a, of like a croissant. Below that frontier, we have the pattern of uh, social roles that we are likely to develop. And above, we have the pattern that we want to push out of the social structure. And here, as a comment to this, I am referring to my earlier update in the same thread of research, the update in which I presented the results of my experiments with a piece of artificial intelligence supposed to represent a society with social roles in it. 
when um, we want to push some social roles out of the system, out of the social structure. It is not that simple. Huh? If we just say from one day to another that the given social role is no more tolerable, it can disappear for a moment, but then it can sort of pop up again in the social structure under a different name. Uh, the real factor of change is the emergence of new, radically new social roles. And when those radically new social roles stay coherent, or when the society attempts to assure some coherence, some cohesion between those newly emerging social roles and the incumbent ones, then we, ha we can have like a complete phenomenon of pushing out, of, uh, let's say, of making some social roles disappear. Okay, so these were the fancy slides once again. Uh, if you want to know more about the topic that I very briefly introduced in this video, you go to the description box below the video. There you find the link discoversocialsciences.com. You click on the link. It takes you to the website of my blog under the same name, Discover Social Sciences. And on my blog, you can find a written update which has the same title as this video. So once again, one more time, have fun with science, have fun with life. After all, we are speeding across space on a piece of rock without a roof, with just air condition on. So it is now or never to discover the wonders of nature. Bye.